Welcome to 2019. I just kind of wanted to go over like, you know, what this channel has been. I just wanted to thank you all and um, and even show some footage. I technically agreed I would never show, but I'll get to that later. <laughs> so stick around for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like this channel, I started it back in November 2017. And it grew into something I wasn't expecting and but it ended up being a like just a great opportunity just to be able to share things and people pitching into the conversation and asking awesome questions and um, I just thank you guys very much for rising me up to at least almost three thousand subs. Um, I'm sure I'm, I'm only I'm only a little bit away from there, so I'm sure I'll cross it. And I just I'm very thankful that you guys are out there and I've got to meet some really amazing people who also got to we got to talk really well or like just have great conversation and, and even like helped me with uh, um, I'm writing a book and they really helped me with that and I'm really glad that I mean it's just like people that I don't even know are just willing to do that for me and I was just I was very thankful um, for them and so what what happened 2018 for me so I was supposed to graduate last year but I'll be graduating this year um, I moved out I'm sitting on the floor instead of the couch. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, I got fired. I got fired from my job. I guess I'm kind of skipping the first like you know eight months of my semester. But I started a new the new job at um, it was Brandline Media um, back in February, and that's when I I worked at a warehouse for like four years, and then finally this job showed up, and I was really excited because it would um, ut or utilize my film um, degree that I you know had in my uh, film school and so I was like sure let's go for it and I was working with Josiah um, he kind of opened the door for that and <laughs> as time progressed there was just something odd <clears throat> and I couldn't figure out what was going on um, and the oddity rested on my boss specifically and and I think it was I think it was October or no October um, or September, one of them, I got f fired from the job. Why do I say fired? Well, it's because my boss couldn't really, he doesn't really know how to make a decision. <laughs> and so he kept like dangling, firing over me, but I was already going to quit. I was like, oh, I was going to go quit. Yeah. So my boss was a very manipulative um, individual and he would always try to twist things to make it your fault. And he communicated ways in ways that were to take effect rather than to clarify. And so I was always confused as to like what he wanted. And um, it just went and just got worse and worse and worse. And it was just terrible. And eventually I made the dumb decision to go on, on a hunting trip with him to film, just to film because uh, to make a documentary for him. But then I could also get credit for my school at the same time. And I was like, great, I'll just, run this in parallel. But I've already had months and months of like absolute frustration for this guy and being up at 11,000 feet marching nearly 100 miles in a week. Yeah, that's going to do some things. So um, eventually he blew up on me um, on on a Thursday, on a Thursday morning at probably like 6am. It's great. Why? Well, part of this part of the reason is, is that he doesn't have a clue what it means to make a story. He thinks that innovation is is um, the way to make a story, but no, you actually need character and plot and blah da But he thinks like you know, glossy footage and innovation is going to create that story arc, and we'll figure it out later in post. And, and so, my my training and his inability to let go of control really <laughs> bumped heads. Um, and so eventually, I was like, yeah, I need to peace out. And we just kind of had a civil our agreement that uh, we will move on. But he kept pouting at me like I had this like idea for what he'd just be manipulative about it and, and why I was acting the, or why I was making this decision to leave him. And his own brother quit on him because he couldn't even handle him because of how s just something's not right in the head. And another person was going to quit on him, but ended up being part time because they didn't have a fallback. So that's kind of like the big thing for me in 2018, and so I'm going to show you footage from that um, from that uh, hunting trip.
And so for the next like two months, I, I didn't make any videos and I noticed that people were kind of like, hey, so where are you at? And, you know, Patreon kind of like dwindled a little bit. And I was just kind of like, ah, oh, crap, because I, I just was jobless and I, and I wasn't able to really get in contact with people like that when I was talking with them. And I just had to zero in on actual life and not be able to explore on, on YouTube. And, and then I poked up some more videos in December. But then eventually I signed up for DoorDash and I've been doing DoorDash for a little bit, but that's pretty hefty on it. You just don't really get that much to, or with the amount that you have to put in. <clears throat> and so I'm going to be working hopefully at the school because that works with my schedule and I, and they know you're a student and I very much appreciate that. But I also, I wrote a short story, which is also called a Kant, C-O-N-T. Um, so my dad, he, he said that word very elaborate at a Mexican restaurant and the people next to us thought we said something else and, um, uh, they had a family and they left and it was really funny. Um, but how we learned the word was because of this book. Um, it, they call it short stories, but right in the beginning he says, or right there, for it deals with short stories and then in parentheses, cont, cons, C-O-N-T-E-S. <laughs> And, and so, anyways, I wrote a short story, um, and it is a backstory, it's a love story between two main, or at least the main character of the, of the book that I'm writing and his wife, the queen, because um, the main character is a king, his name is Iliam, and her name is Ira, and so it's basically focused on Ira's perspective and how she became queen. Um, it's about, you know, 9,800 words, something like that. And so I finished it, but like I have it, you know, um, it's up for, you know, editing and stuff like that. I edited it um, several times already, and I'm kind of letting people read it if, and seeing if they can find things that they can, that can improve. Um, but the, the big book that I wrote, wrote 27,000 words, and then realized I had a fractured foundation, and I darn near have to restart. <laughs> it is painful. And so I've been pondering as to how to restart it for several months now uh, because it, it, had, it, has, it had some big problems. Hopefully by the end of the year, I will have a strong, at least first act. Found a favorite book right here, Short Stories in the Ma Making by Will, I think it's, no, Robert Wilson Neal. And there's a quote that I absolutely love and I'm gonna put it in the description below so you can read it. Um, I haven't finished it because I actually got about to this far and realized I needed to work on what he was talking about um, in my stories, that, I, or at least the book that I'm writing, and so to get a better grasp of what he's talking about, I am processing it, and then eventually I will return and read it. It is truly an amazing book. It was published in 1918. I like these older books because they they are far more definitive. Books nowadays are kind of like, well, you know, do whatever you feel. You know, there's no real like structure to anything. I'm like, ah! So, great book. If you're looking for something to read um, for story stuff, I definitely advise that one. But yeah, so 2019. What is going on 2019? So, I should be graduating 2019. And from there, I, I'm kind of open to whatever might happen. I There are some jobs potential uh, potential jobs that are available with the de with the degree and the background that I have because I'll have a degree in or a bachelor in communication and a film background uh, with like cinematography and writing and editing and all that <clears throat> uh, but my emphasis was specifically cinematography 
Um, so I've noticed that there are jobs out there for it's kind of like a medial or medial specialist or just kind of like doing not the marketing, but you're you're creating content for a company. I may actually be writing music for a Czechoslovakian film later this year. Ah, I also started playing drums at um, a church called Calvary in Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, I'm not really a drummer, but I was good enough and they were happy to have me on. But yeah, I've been doing that for a little while and I'm just curious to see how that's going to um, you know, end up because all last year, mostly, I didn't really have a church that I went to. Uh, my church fell apart 2017 in April and just melted and I was the worship leader and it was really difficult to get back into a church because there was there are so many problems with the church I don't know what to do about it and so I eventually kind of settled with this one um, still seeing a lot of the problems they actually have a lot of parallel problems to the church that fell apart and so that makes it me a little more hesitant but I know some friends and I'm getting to know friends and so I'm you know the, the social structure is what's ending, is keeping me there. And seeing that there's opportunities like, hey, I can play drums um, and just get to know know other people and whatnot. And that, so at least it gets me out to, because what ended up happening was just me just being alone too much and it was not very good. Not good for me at all. So if anything, the social element um, was like basically medicine uh, for me. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, and I'm um, really looking forward to this next year and just seeing what um, is coming up because it feels like a big year for me, and you know, who knows what this YouTube channel might become. I would like to be able to put more time back into it, but I'm kind of still kind of spread up um, to like bring like good professional quality. I mean, like I have a good camera, but I I'm just like ah, let's just use the computer because this takes up you know a setup and lighting and all that, and it's just it's a lot. And but it's probably for the better. But uh, I'll have to like actually have something dedicated for it, so I can. So it's a little easier because there's other life. This isn't my, you know, money maker and all that. <laughs> so I have to do, you know, real life. But anyways, I would love to hear what you guys are up to 2019. What you're gonna be doing? Um, what great things that you felt were in 2018? What was your worst moment in 2018? Um, and yeah, just what you look forward to in 2019. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for being a part of this channel and and um, just putting in your input and, and even your criticisms and and just being a part of the, of you know, especially a big season for me. Last year was a pretty big season. Um, and it's just, I really appreciate that. So, I'll see you guys in another video, another life. You never know. Peace out.